Lion's mane jellyfish is the largest jellyfish in the world. In the Pacific, there are species whose dome reaches 2.5 meters in diameter. These giant's tentacles can envelop a 12-story building. Here we encountered a jellyfish the size of a watermelon. A jellyfish dome of well 50 centimeters in diameter will have tentacles that reach 15 meters, and it is a five-story building right there. Just imagine this jellyfish on top of a five-story building, its tentacles hanging over the entrance. Thousands of long tentacles wrapped around the jellyfish like a fishing net. Each of them is covered with billions of dangerous cells. This stinging capsules are a perfect weapon and a defense mechanism. Filled with poisonous toxins, they may cause paralysis or even kill. A mature stinging capsule is a bubble, a hole, covered with a lid with a sort of thread inside. When this animal needs to, we still do not know how it happens. The capsule will trigger a firing. This means that the cap will open and the thread will come hurling out. The speed of this is impressive. This tiny, light and fragile structure can pierce through a crustacean shell. A stinging cell of a jellyfish is a capsule that resembles a bubble with a closed lid. Inside the capsule there is a thread. On its surface, the capsule has small spurs. When it touches something, the cap flies off. The thread ejects forcefully and like a harpoon pierces the enemy. The jellyfish injects poison into the victim's body through the cut. Scientists conducted an experiment. A small plankton crustacean was placed next to the tentacles of the jellyfish. The crustacean's body is protected by a hard shell. Come closer. Here is rare footage of stinging cells in action. This high-speed macro film reveals how the jellyfish is stinging its prey. This happens in a split second. The firing speed of the capsules is very high. The impact is incredible. Prey capturing threads literally pierce the shells of this crustacean and inject poison. There are another kind of beautiful jellyfish which can be found in the White Sea in large numbers. It is Aurelia. They are excellent swimmers. But this does not save Aurelia from Cyanea's predatory tentacles. If you look closely at the threads of this Cyanea, we will notice the same jellyfish Aurelia. Surprisingly, 70% of the queen's diet is comprised of other jellyfish. The cyanea's mane resembles a royal robe. In reality, this red matter is the mouth of this jellyfish. Cyanea captures Aurelia in its threads. This huntress of a jellyfish wraps its prey with its tentacles and eats it on the go. Often you can see a jellyfish, a small, tiny cyanea, just a baby jellyfish. It has just started to grow, and it sits on top of a huge aurelia, which is four times its size, and it eats this aurelia. And it will finish the whole thing, and all the nutrients literally flow from one jellyfish into the other, and it grows day by day. And you can encounter cyaneas, which resemble floating soccer balls. They may be digesting six to eight aurelias.
But the food chain does not end here. Cyania the Terrible was captured herself and became food for our old friend, the Sea Flower. <laughs>